Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm gonna to provide an update on my Helix Overdrive system and install these updated parts. So this uh, overdrive kit has a few thousand miles on it, getting on 4,000 miles, and it's been fine. But there's a known defect where the, the, the plate, where this bolts up to can crack and leak. I have a leak underneath it, so I believe it's this plate. And uh, eventually you can actually crack your vacuum housing itself. So they make a support bracket now. I'm retrofitting those parts on. So this is the Helix four times overdrive kit. They make it in three and four times overdrive and it's made by Spool Performance. The HPFP itself has, getting, it has to have over 80,000 miles on it. And even though it's been driven four times overdrive for the last 4,000 miles, it's doing fine. I guess you can see why they made that upgraded plate. So this is what I found. Wow. Falling apart. The fatigue of the weight of that uh, overdrive system can snap this, break it, as you see. So that's why they now include this billet plate. I'll bring it over. Now you have this made out of billet. Comes with your overdrive kit now, so you don't have to worry about this problem. So for people that were installing this upgraded plate, next thing to go was their vacuum housing itself. And that's why they made this support bracket to completely fix the issue. So once you replace these two parts, and if you buy one of these spool overdrive kits new, now it'll come with this hardware, so you will never have this problem. So I'm ready to install the billet plate now. Um, the reinforced plate. I was trying to get my hands on the o-ring that goes on the vacuum housing, but uh, it wasn't available. You have to buy the whole vacuum housing if you want that, but you can find it on Amazon as an aftermarket solution. So I'd recommend you guys do that if you are retrofitting this plate after the fact. Bringing over the updated support bracket. Comes with a little bit longer bolts. That's it for the upgrade. Now it's rigid and fully supported, so it's not likely to fail. All right, I'm gonna give it a first start after doing the repair. A lot of you guys have asked if it makes a clatter sound or if it's noisy. You can hear a little bit of gearbox clatter right here. It would seem pretty pronounced, but it actually goes away completely when the car is fully warmed up. Just listen. There. 
Once the car is fully warmed up, it's completely silent. For me anyway, with my automatic car, once it's fully warmed up, you just never get that sound. It's not like it comes and goes or it's embarrassing in traffic, etc. I get nothing. But otherwise, we've got a few thousand miles, about 4,000 miles on it, at least 80,000 miles on my HPFP being driven four times over and it's reliable. So for about a minute and a half when it's cold, yes, it's a little bit pronounced and it has a bit of a clatter. When you're cruising down the road, you'll hear a bit of whine every once in a while, like at about 2,500 RPM. Uh, you don't really hear it unless you're in sport mode for whatever reason, um, but it's hardly noticeable from my experience. But yes, that clatter that you get when the car is cold is pretty perceivable. It's pretty noticeable, I'll be honest. But once it's fully warmed up, it's gone completely. So as long as you can deal with that, then not a big deal. I know you guys were holding off on buying this overdrive kit just to see how long it would last or if, or if there's any known problems. There was the problem of the plate cracking. So they updated the plate to a billet and then the vacuum pump would crack if you were to just put that billet plate and not the support bracket. But between those two pieces, the issue is completely fixed. I still have the rubber fuel supply line, but they offer a metal one if you want, it's optional. I don't think too many people are going for that, but just so you know, if you want it to look a little bit cleaner and you don't want to have to cut up your valve cover, then uh, you can go that route and it'll look very much OEM. So I'm impressed that the HPFB has lasted no problem four times overdrive and the actual overdrive unit itself is doing well. It hasn't uh, degraded or started to get any noise or anything like that. It was just the vacuum pump cast plate that has to be repaired. So if you guys were to buy one of these three times or four times overdrive kits, um, the only sacrifices are a little bit of noise on cold start, a slight bit of whine when you're cruising at certain RPMs that's hardly noticeable. Reliability wise, now that they've offered the billet plate and the support bracket, there's nothing to worry about. So for anybody that was holding off, waiting for some miles to be accumulated on my car and waiting for an update on the spool overdrive kit, I'm happy with it. I'm glad they offer the fixes beyond the fact that there's a little bit of cold start noise and the fact that it makes a tiny bit of noise when you're cruising at certain RPMs, I'm happy with it. If you guys are interested in purchasing one of these overdrive kits, I'll put a link in the description to spool performance. If this is the first video you're catching of mine, consider subscribing, I do upload regularly. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.